So if you're new to the channel, if you're new to Tarkov, this is a, a realistic survival shooter where your whole goal is to build up a stash of things, as you see on the right side of the screen. Those stash things, you go back into raids and you get more stuff. It, that, that's the base right now because it's in beta. Eventually, it will be like a, a massive open world looter shooter that you it, it, the whole the goal is to run around and get loot and take other players' loot. It, it's, it's, I mean, you look at a game like Fortnite, the whole goal of Fortnite is to get loot and then take other players out, right? It's not a BR. It's not a game like that to a point. There's also, yes, yeah, hoarder justification. There's like level progression and, and the real, you like, you can t lose a leg and you have to, you, know, you have to fix your leg with like a splint if it gets broken and, and you do, there's field surgery kits and stuff like that. Like it's very, very, very deep. It is very deep because even down to like, I'm going to show you this HK. See all the parts down here at the bottom. If, I'm going to, I'm going to put the gun over here just so I can tool around with it. Um, so you can see so this is a this is a good enough view you can see everything so here's my hk 4 and 6 a5 there's a 556 by 45 uh caliber ar which means it fits you know 556 rounds in it so boom i can take the mag out there is a bullet in the chamber right here that you can see down at the bottom so like i can take this bullet out of the chamber too that's ready to go so even if i didn't have a magazine in there i could shoot one time it's got a grip on it it's got that's the buffer tube which has a stock on it and the stock has a uh, butt pad on it. It has a sight on the top, and that sight was sitting on top of this sight mount. It has a uh, a charging handle. It's got there's a laser sight on the side that was mounted onto uh, the quad rail right there. That quad rail is holding a grip. It's got a canted sight on it. The canted sight has a mount, for like the little, uh, canted mount location has a mount for this sight, which there's the sight itself. Like I said, it is extremely deep. And the HK4 and 6 is still not completely apart yet. I'll continue to take it apart. So here's the adapter for the end of the barrel, uh, the KC uh, compensator, the QD compensator, which had a suppressor attached to it because that's how you have to mount it. Here's the gas block for the fr uh, for the front of the gun so that the, the gun even functions. That's here's the barrel of, the, of it. I'm going to take that single round out. This, I'm going to take the upper receiver off. This is the actual gun right here is the lower receiver of it so this is this all this stuff right here turned into th this is how you build a gun like i said it's extremely deep like crazy deep all of these pieces right here make the gun all and all this stuff all these pieces that i've i've found these are all this is all loot that i've found in raids gotten out with and then put this gun together to be able to use in the game so now i can go back through and rebuild the entire thing and put all this stuff on, put that guy back on, that guy back on. See the gun start to come back together. Need the quad rail on it. Needs a buffer tube with a stock. Put the butt pad on. There's the grip on the bottom. We can, we can put that guy back on. Charging handle. Technically right now, it is a functioning gun. Uh, in fact, I could take parts of this off still. I could take off that. I could take off that. It This right here. Am I, can I drop the quad? Yeah, I can't. can't yeah, I have to have a handguard on it. This right here is a functioning. I can take that off too. I think I, I can even take the stock off. So I could run this gun like this, and it functions. But look at look at the stats. Vertical and horizontal recoil are very high for an HK. 148 is high vertical recoil. 392 is insane. You would be you would not be able to control this weapon really. But you'll notice these stats as I start to put stuff back on. So if I put a stock on. This goes way down. A stock, the stock is huge. Look at this. 148 down to 94. And you put the bumper pad on, goes down a little bit more. You put uh, the grip on, goes down a little bit more. You put it, every time you put a piece on, goes down a little bit more. So you can slap all the stuff on there. And it's it's modular enough that see how I, I can like, I can mount the sight. The, this is a laser sight or a laser, uh, uh, a laser for it. So I can put it in a number of different locations depending on how I want the gun to look and to handle. I usually stick them on the outside so I know that they're not gonna block line of sight at all. Put the canted on there, throw this guy on there, put that on. Uh, he actually needs to go on there. So it's actually on the canted sight location. But that's how complicated the game can be if, if you're not used to it. And I know, uh, here's the thing about the game. It's not gonna be for everybody. Well, say it's second, not. I it just, just isn't, and that's fine. Not every game is for uh, for everybody. Not everybody likes Call of Duty. Not everybody likes Madden. Not everybody likes Fortnite. Not everybody is going to like Tarkov. There are some slow periods. 
but the goal of the game is is not high action high intensity or it's not high action it's like now it's not super fast pace it's actually pretty slow it, it it is very tense you will be leaning into your your tvs your screens that kind of thing as you watch there's a lot of loot management too that goes into it which is where a lot of people are like this is boring i can't do it but it's a good opportunity for me to sit here and talk to you about what's going on that kind of thing i'm on missions i've got backpacks on backpacks on backpacks stacked into inside each other which that's always fun for people they're like wait how do you have 87 backpacks dude what's going on here well that's part of the game and knowing all the little pieces all the intricacies it, it it takes a long time to really understand everything that's happening uh, I'll, I'll leave the, the the other side on there i just want to i want to show people what the game looks like especially if you're new but i'm going to do it in a way that is literally zero risk to me uh so you could choose any of these maps and and do whatever we're gonna do i'll do a brighter one um if i can get into if i can get into customs uh nine o'clock we'll do that i'm gonna do it in an offline mode uh with pve that's fine that's fine that's fine not gonna do tagged and cursed or anything like that uh but it is offline which means this run won't save uh like if i die i won't lose anything if uh if i get out i won't keep anything but i'm i'm i want to show people just the last couple little things about the game because like on your screen right now there's a lot of a lot of different things that you can do so um every time you, you zone into a raid you start in kind of different location and then remember how i showed you i have two sites in the thing you can swap between the sites on the fly um i can turn on my laser you see it on the wall i can adjust it to whichever color or output i want so there's technically there's a number of different ones this is like a you see it here there you go boom 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 there's four different options for this one depending on how you want to do it i can check the mag in the middle so i can see how many rounds are in it um i can check if it's on single or full auto and you you he does the the actions to change it See him move his thumb up, boom, boom. The animations for first person are actually nuts. They're insane. Uh, you can inspect Dr. the gun, so if you just literally just want to look at Is it, Lupo you can bad? you can do that. Um, I don't know if you noticed, but if you hold down middle mouse and look around, you, I can look independent of where I'm pointing the weapon, which is pretty cool. Oh, shift T, there you go. So you can check to see if there's a round chambered too. But all these things add up to a very realistic experience. And then in the bottom left, this is basically just your explanation for anybody that's new. So you understand what's going on. Bottom oh, you left, you see a little... Money. Here, I'm going to put it in the spot. You see the little outline of the guy? On the bottom, there's a there's a green bar. That's my stamina. And as you sprint around, it uses stamina. As you hold an ADS, you see how it's still going down. Then actually, while I'm ADS, I can uh, tap left alt. And the gun will... I'm basically... The character's holding his breath. And eventually this will wear out and go, just like in real life, you can't hold your breath forever. Yeah, there you go. See, he's like, oh, tired. Gets tired, so you can adjust off of that. Um, and then the other thing is like that little, so right above the green bar, there's a dotted line. Yeah, you lose less stamina when crouch, even less when prone. Yes, I mean, standing and holding the weapon because it's heavy. But I can use my mouse wheel right now. See how it's adjusting the... The little line there, the where the little arrow is and that dotted line. That's how fast I'm moving. So if I'm just holding W and I mouse wheel down. He slows down to a, like basically super slow pace. And then you can crouch and go even slower. And the reason that's important is because in the very bottom left, there's a little speaker icon. And you see as you start to speed up, it adds lines to it. And the character gets louder. That's your footstep, the sound, the, the volume of your, your movement. You stand up, it goes up. So if you're holding C and you mouse wheel, on the left side is how tall you are, and you, there are stages to it. So I don't have to be all the way crouched down or prone. You can prone out, but I can choose. And one of the things that that's good for is like, if I'm like holding holding a, an angle and like right here, I can't hold this angle all the way crouched, but I could I could be halfway and hold that. See? So if I'm like if I want to duck down right now, the barrel is covered, so that's not going to hit. That will hit. I go down too far very clearly not do you actually use all these things in game yeah you do you're yeah you legitimately no bs you 100 percent do the other thing check this out so if i'm holding if i'm ads and i hold left alt and do a and d well your side step keys you can granularly change the angle that you're holding something at while you ads so 
this is pretty nuts and so if i if i hold hold over i let go of alt i'm holding this angle while i move so you can you can like set the angle you want to hold at and and go around so you can do all that stuff it gets it gets wilder ready so you can blind fire um and you can you can blind fire around uh around corners too so if i'm like so i can i can blind fire around corner so i can't see what i'm shooting at but i can shoot around the corner or over the top of something you see where the shots are going down there down at the very bottom of the screen and that nuts you could do it with grenades too uh which is crazy so they they give you the opportunity to do a lot of these things on the fly a lot of players forget especially the blind fire around corners like this if you do the little side steps so let's say like somebody's out of that window and i want to peek them super fast and i don't want to do this because it'll put me a weird angle hold alt and do one of the I, i'm technically I'm, I'm stepping out see that i'm stepping out from the corner so i can check out of the and go back in it's the whole thing's crazy so if you're up on a thing and you blind fire do you see how right there the gun cuts back so what 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 has happened to us before is uh clean's been blind firing into a room and he goes just barely too far to the left when the gun cuts back over like that and he's still shooting suddenly he, he might shoot you in the face if you're to his left <laughs> that, that, that happened that one time yeah that happened that. that one time yeah dude, that's, that's for science clean one time is all it takes so <laughs> so there you go all right